Good afternoon everyone, Drayden here with Zero Turn Lung Care Coming in with another video Today we have some questions we're going to be answering And we're going to be talking about uh, One of the products that I've been That I've done video a video on The Compare and Save Weed and Grass Killer So stay tuned You know what's next Right, y'all back at you with another video in a nice thirsty evening man the sun is out here in Houston uh, real nice weather today nice day to be working uh, also a nice day to tell everyone I appreciate all of y'all for tuning in to the channel and if you haven't done so please like subscribe hit that like button that notification button uh, show your boy some love um, this past week has been very very good uh, with all the subscribers that are uh, I've uh, with all the subscribers that have subscribed to the channel and I really really appreciate it man uh, it means a lot to me so again if you haven't done so you know, like subscribe share uh, give me a thumbs up if anything you know give me a comment it really helps me out to help the channel out as well. Um, I want to take this time now to give a shout out to all the new subscribers that I've had. And if you look up at the screen up at the top right, you see everyone that has subscribed this past week. And I want to let y'all know coming up, uh, some of the videos that will be coming out these next uh, next few weeks. Um, I'm going to do another video on the mulch glue. I did a property last week, a new property last week, and I used the mulch glue on it. And we're gonna go back and shoot the blower on it and let y'all see exactly how this mulch glue works. So we're gonna do a video on the dye that we use for the mulch. Uh, another video is gonna be about the fabric, the weed barrier fabric. And uh, I think that's gonna be real interesting for y'all to watch that video um, and see why I do not use it anymore uh, and we're going to talk about does it really work but I'm going to give you my few reasons why I do not use it anymore and so you may want to stay tuned for that as well and pick up some pretty good information on that and um, trying to think those are the three main videos that we will be putting out uh, this, within the next two weeks. The, um, the one with the mulch, mulch glue, that'll be coming out on Tuesday when I go back and service that property. And you all can uh, watch that one as well uh, exactly and see exactly how the mulch glue works. So today, what we're going to be doing is have this subdivision that I'm doing. Uh, down here in Houston and we're going to take a look at it and show you what we're going to be doing is that the, uh, the community it's going to be on the community uh, tennis court and what has happened is they haven't used this court for a while and they're trying to get it ready for summer for the kids for summer and they want me to clean it up for them so we're going to let you take a look at it okay this is it and as you can see there's grass and all up in these cracks on the tennis court and basketball court all the way around so what I'm going to do today is use that compare and save weed killer and we're going to do this entire court all these if you can see the grass between the cracks and I'm going to spray each and every each and every one of these weeds all the way around the fence line as well 
and usually I will cut some of this down and then use the, the weed killer but what I'm gonna do on this one I'm just gonna lay it on real thick I'm not gonna cut any of it down I'm gonna lay the stuff on and spray it on real good and thick saturated and come back in two or three days and check it out and then another week sometime again like that compare and save weed and grass killer some sometimes it takes up to two weeks to kill everything and it's working but like i say it's a pre-emergent solution uh but it it, it, it is working and like i said sometimes it takes up to two weeks to kill it so i'm not going to cut any of these down i'm just going to spray it all real good and come back and check in another week or two and then once this all dies out then i'm gonna come back with the weed with the uh with the weed eater and get it all up and i got this i have this contract with them to keep this thing you know pretty much clear and clean for a year so i have a year on this contract to keep this this property here or keep this tennis court and basketball court free of weeds and gonna see what it's like appreciate y'all for watching so again we're gonna spray all these down see what it looks like killer is what I used and you see this court tennis court and basketball court is is literally full of weeds so we're gonna come back and check on this in about a week maybe three or four days and uh, do another video on the progress up to the end and gonna keep this thing pretty clean for the next year and Hopefully after that, I uh, get the contract to do this and the subdivision, tile subdivision. And uh, we're looking forward to it. Again, we appreciate you all for watching. Um, had a couple of guys that left me a question on one of my other videos. And one of the questions was what to do about sloppy, wet grass. And I guess... Uh, what he's asking you know how to solve that problem and what I would do if I were you you know I, I had that problem in my yard and I tried to build it up with sand and sand is fine but it takes so so long for that grass to grow through the sand so what I would suggest is I would use one part sand to two parts topsoil and mix it in, you know, a little at a time and let the grass grow through. And then you need to do it again, go back over it again and build that spot up until the water is able to, you know, flow down one side of the yard or the other side of the yard. But I would not put, uh, I would not put, put that sand in there alone again it's going to take so long for that grass to go through that sand so but sand will build it up so just take one i would take one part sand and two parts topsoil 
and mix it in and spread it out, you know, evenly and go from there. Uh, wish I could remember your name. I would have to go back through the video, but I appreciate you for asking that question. And all of y'all, if y'all have any more questions, feel free to, you know, put them in the comment below. Uh, send me an email. The email again is in the description box. Uh, another question was on my video that I did about my zero turn. Uh, young man, I think his name was Ma at Matthews, uh, was talking about buying a used Husqvarna zero turn with a hundred and some hours. Would that be fine to start up a business? And again, I would say yes. To start up a business, you don't need to spend a lot of money trying to, you know, start your business. Start small. Uh, that Husqvarna, it, it is a residential more, uh, part residential and, and commercial. Like I said, they give you a two-year commercial use and a three-year residential use. So you can use it for commercial. Uh, so until you get ready and you know for sure that's the business business you want to be in, yes, go ahead and use that Husqvarna. You won't be disappointed as long as you keep up the maintenance, change the oil and everything in it at the recommended time and you will be just fine. Again, we'll come back in a week or so and check this out. Want to thank you all for watching. Again, like. Give me that thumbs up. Shoot me a comment. Whether you like it or not, I don't care. It's all in all in love. We all out here just trying to make it and make this place a better, better place uh, for everyone. And off our advice that through our experiences that we've had doing the law and service. Appreciate y'all for watching again. Thanks. We'll see you next week.